When you're coming into land, choose a spot that's going to treat your glider nicely. You don't want somewhere that's uh, wet, you don't want somewhere too abrasive. Obviously making a safe landing is first priority, but often you have a lot of choices where you can drop your glider down. So just drop it down in a place that's uh, going to look after your glider. And make sure that when the glider drops down, it doesn't fall leading edge on the ground because you can explode the glider from inside. Handle your glider as little as possible. What I like to do is drop the glider down on the ground and fold it immediately where it lands. I fold it into the concertina bag rib to rib in a concertina fashion, but normally I don't do every rib one at a time. I take perhaps six or eight ribs at a time and do it progressively like that. So when you fold your wing, have a look to check there's not too much dirt in the wing. The dirt tends to move out into the tips and there's a little Velcro flap so that you can open the tip and uh, get the dirt out. I fold the glider into three. Try not to fold your glider repetitively exactly in the same way because otherwise it causes the same crease to happen every time you fold it up. On the Cure 2, we also include a plastic tube with the packing and you can use that plastic tube to fold the leading edge around to stop the leading edge plastics getting creased. So on landing or at takeoff, always keep your wing out of the sun as much as possible. So you should always make sure your glider is dry when you pack it. If you do have to pack it wet, then uh, in the evening open the bag again and open it out inside uh, your house to let it dry out. Never leave your glider wet in the bag for more than 24 hours. If you ever need to clean your wing, say your wing is muddy, then use just fresh water or just very mild soap. So if your wing ever gets in salt water, you should rinse it thoroughly in fresh water and then dry it outside direct sunlight so in the shade. You should always store your glider in a dry, well-ventilated area and um, try to take your glider out and uh, air it regularly. So to properly maintain your glider, you should uh, keep it away from UV light, heat and also damp. Avoid salt water, aggressive cleaning products, careless storage or physical abuse. Ah, what are you doing?